Welcome to Men of Abundance, the podcast for those looking to level up their lives by hanging out with some of the greatest leaders and established professionals in our community, living a life of integrity, honor, and the abundance mentality. Prepare to pay it forward with your host, former army medic turned lifestyle entrepreneur, Wally Carmichael. Aloha, men of abundance. It is Aloha Friday, and today we are going to basically bring together the conversations that we had over this last week. On Tuesday, I introduced you to Shane Sams in episode 089, and you might recall that he is one half of the duo of the Flipped Lifestyle Community and Podcast. And then yesterday, on Thursday, I introduced you to Nick Loper in episode 090, and I'm sure you recall that he is the chief hustler at the Side Hustle Nation. So there were two very dynamic conversations talking specifically about you building some sort of a side gig some sort of additional income stream for you and your family. And look, these aren't the things that you're going to be able to right away make, you know, a million dollars off of, not even a thousand dollars off of. You might make a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars in a month after the first couple months or so. But here's the thing. You're going to be able to take some of the knowledge that you already have, some of the skills that you already have, and build upon that, learn some new skills, and learn how to market yourself and your product or service so that you can provide greater value to other people. And when you start providing value to other people and with your product or service or whatever it is you're doing, you're going to get compensated for that. And just a couple hundred dollars a month will literally change many people's lives. Now, if you've already visited FlippedLifestyle.com or SideHustleNation.com, or smartpassiveincome.com or any of the other resources that I've listed over the last two shows in the show notes, you can easily see that there are literally hundreds of things that you can do so that you can start learning new skills, providing value, and making some extra income for your family. So the question today is, how do you choose which one to get started with? And should you choose just one? When you look at all of those things, you're probably thinking, I can do multiple of these things. I know I do. Every time I look at those lists, I'm like, I can do that. I have done that. I can do that and ramp it up and make it even bigger. So here's my suggestion to you if you're just starting from scratch. No matter where you're at, choose just one thing if you're already doing one thing and you're very passionate about it and you know you're good at it and you know you can provide value to somebody else stick with that one thing focus stands for follow one course until success and in my mind and in this case I would say success is when you can basically match what it is that you make at a job. I would not move on and do anything else as far as a side gig or a side hustle until you can match your current job for three months straight. And even then, I would consider sticking with that. And I wouldn't quit my job at that point either. I would wait until at least six months of steady income of doubling what I make from my day job before I would quit my job. That's just me and that's my suggestion. So how do you choose what to do? Which one of these things can you do? And what I would say is initially really look at what it is that when you see it, when you read it, when you look at the description of the business, If you find yourself reading about that business and you're doing your research and you're really looking into it and next thing you know it's been three hours, chances are that might be something that you're excited about. Because as they say, time flies when you're having fun. And when you're researching something that you're excited about and then the time just flies by, then chances are that might be it. In either case, don't get caught up in analysis paralysis. Make a decision and move swiftly. Here's how you move forward. You find somebody who is already doing what it is that you want to do. And I can hear you now, but Wally, if somebody's already doing it, then how can I make that happen? How can I make it grow? How can I make money from it? Well, if somebody's already doing it and they're doing it well, that's proof of concept. You don't have to do that level of research. You want to start doing something that is proven that other people are willing to pay for. And I'll bet you that those people that are already doing what you want to do 
are willing to teach you the ropes, are willing to help you get started. Some may charge you a little bit, but some may do it for free. Some may be just getting started and are so excited about what they do, they might want to share their information with you. They'll share paperwork with you, contracts with you, a lot of stuff they'll share with you. All you got to do is ask. And if you see anybody out there who is selling a course, then I would look into it. But be very careful. Make sure they are actually doing or have done. I'll give you an example. When I first retired from the military, one of the things that I just kind of fell into was I was going to start a business in uh, commercial cleaning. You know, the commercial offices and stuff like that, starting with small businesses, then working up to schools and stuff like this. I got in contact with a guy who had a residential business and had eight businesses that he was cleaning on a regular basis. And he had employees and he was willing to share everything that he was doing from his supplies, how he how he day-to-day -day activities. He had a storage. He had all of his cleaning supplies in there. He had his employees go pick it up. And, you know, the whole bit from top to bottom. He was willing to share all that with me. The bottom line is this. Don't try to go it alone. Either try to find somebody who is willing to assist you along the way or pay somebody. Pay a coach, pay a mentor, pay somebody to help you do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm telling you from experience, the payoff is huge. Every time I tried to do something on my own, it cost me a lot of money and I call it my education, however much it cost. But every time in contrast that I hired somebody or had somebody assist me, walk me through, hold me accountable, make sure I was doing the things, the next step, the next step, the next step, I was successful every single time. All right, guys, this is already well over five minutes. Before I let you go, I want to let you know of one resource that I personally use. And if you are considering on starting your own business or currently struggling in your business or just looking for some more knowledge from a different perspective on starting rather an online business, brick and mortar, no matter what it is, the resource that I use, my go-to membership site, is called Freedom. F-R-E-E-D-Y-M. So real quick, Freedom is basically the Netflix for entrepreneurs. There are so many different videos in there from many different experts in their respective fields on everything from memberships and coaching, continuity businesses, products and courses, traffic and marketing, sales and conversions, personal development and motivation, productivity and managing, branding and positioning and all kinds of other technical videos step by step everything is there for you it's simply an amazing resource and a very low investment and since i'm a member you can get access to this system to check it out for just one dollar you can get access by going to menofabundance.com click on the resources tab at the top then scroll down to you see the Freedom logo and click on the $1 trial offer link. Or in the show notes of this episode at menofabundance.com forward slash 091. Now, go out and live your life of abundance and make sure to pay it forward.